Hello there, this is Amy from Made for Math, and I am here today to talk to you about US coins and various activities that you can complete using coins. The first thing that you can work on when naming coin quantities is to place the coins inside of a tens frame. And you might have used a tens frame before when working with whole numbers. You can place anything in a tens frame, whether it's a whole number, coins, fractional amount, a decimal, a percent, Tense frames are fantastic tools for supertizing quantities. So right here, I have filled in the top row of a tens frame. So I filled in half of 10, so that would be five. And I am using pennies. And I know that pennies are worth one cent each. So I have one, two, three, four, five cents for pennies for my quantity. And now I have one full row of five pennies plus two more pennies. So I have five, six, seven total cents. And now I've placed nickels in a tens frame. And I know that nickels are worth more than pennies. They're worth five cents each. So I have five, 10, 15, 20 cents worth of nickels. And next, I have placed dimes in my tens frame. I know that one dime is worth 10 cents, and I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cents, or one row of dimes. And this is another activity that I learned from Pam Harris. If you haven't heard of Pam Harris before, Make sure to check out her website, mathisfigureoutable.com. She also has a podcast that she releases new episodes on Tuesdays called Math is Figure Outable. And in that podcast, I learned about a math routine called I Have You Need. And I'm going to show you how it will work with money. So with I Have You Need, your goal is always to get to a certain quantity. To start off here, for this example, our goal is to get to five cents. So let's say I have three cents. How much change would you need to get to five cents when you're adding on my three cents? Well, I know that three plus two is five. So if I have three cents, then you need two cents to equal five cents. And here's one more example using five cents as our total. Let's say I have four cents. I know that four plus one is five. So I'm gonna, you would need one cent to add to my four cent to get us to five cents. And with I have you need, you can use any number as your total or your goal. 10 is a great one to practice for the add-ins of 10. You can do that with whole numbers or even with money. You could work with, your goal could be 20 or 50 or 100 or maybe eventually 1,000. So it's a great, a great math routine to practice various add-ins, especially those ones with multiples of 10. Something else I want to talk to you today is about adding coins. So when you're first starting to add coins, you just want to start with a few different coin quantities at a time. Right here, I have a one nickel and I have four pennies. So I know that one nickel is worth five cents. And before I go over here to these pennies, I'm gonna insert this emoji right here. I have found that using a visual aid, now you could use a Lego figure or an action figure or a sticker, whatever you like, but using some sort of visual aid in between the two different coins really helps when you're having to switch from adding one coin denomination to the other. So right here I have a nickel and right here I have two pen or I have four pennies. I know that pennies are worth four cents. So when I start to add here, I have I know five and if it's very helpful for your child or your student to actually touch the coin quantities as they're counting as well. So you would touch the nickel and say five, 
And then there's this emoji here or action figure, whatever you like to use. And that gives you kind of that visual reminder that you're jumping to another denomination. So I'm gonna start five. Oh, I'm gonna jump, I'm jumping to pennies. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have nine total cents. Go ahead and show you another example. So here I'm starting with a dime and I know that one dime is worth 10 cents. And here I have another dime. One dime is worth 10 cents. And right here, I'm jumping to another coin. I'm gonna jump to the nickel next. And I know that a nickel is worth five cents. So as I touch the coins and count them, I'm gonna pay attention to this emoji here as I make my jump from dimes to nickels. So 10 plus 10 is 20. Oh, I'm making the jump. I'm going to another coin. It's going to a nickel. So 10, 20 plus five is 25. And the reason I've added this is sometimes you will notice your child or your student, if they're adding two different types of coins, they might be tempted to continue counting in the coin quantity they were counting in before. So for example, if I was starting over here with dimes, I would, might say 10, 20, and you might notice them continuing and saying 30 without jumping to noticing that this is a nickel. So I found that just having some sort of visual representation in the middle of the different coins really helps to kind of remind them, oh, I'm making this jump, I'm making this leap to another coin quantity. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in future videos. Take care.